power system consists of generation, transmission and distribution of electrical power. And of course, all these stages consist of many things like generating station, transmission lines, transmission substation, distribution substation, distribution line and many other things. If you go further deeper, then substation would have different electrical equipment. Generating station would have different equipment. So the bottom line is the power system will have a lot many things. Now, if I have to show everything on a single paper for a quick review, then it is simply impossible. And even if you somehow show it, it would be very much clumsy and difficult to understand. So what is the solution for this? How can I see a crisp view of the complete system? Well, the solution is single line diagram or SLD. A single line diagram is the simplest symbolic representation of an electric power system. What I'm doing in SLD is that instead of showing the drawings of actual, let's say switch gear, generators, transmission lines, uh, I, what I'm doing is I'm using standardized symbols and lines to represent the power system. This makes it very easy to understand and it also gives a brief idea about the power system arrangement. What you can see on your screen is the single line diagram of a typical power system. Let's try to read and understand this diagram. The purpose of power system is to generate electrical power, transmit it and then distribute it to the end consumer. If you want to know more on what is power system, then you can watch my video on that link is in the description. Please take a note SLD is not meant to give all the details, but just a summary. So the first round symbol that you can see is the generating station. This is where the electricity is generated. We generate electricity at a smaller voltage level around 11 kV. If generating voltage in your area is different than this, then do let us know that via comment. Now generating station will also have a connected substation called a generating substation, which is responsible for stepping up the voltage. Now what equipment are used in a substation? What is the circuit arrangement used in a substation? That details are not shown here. Substation will have its own dedicated SLD. By the way, if you are interested, you can join my easiest course on substation. This would really help you if you are a beginner in the study of substation. It is available at courses.theelectricalguide.in. Link is also provided in the description. Go and check it out. Now, this generating substation will step up a voltage to 145 or 245 or maybe 400 kV or maybe even 800 kV level. The voltage level depends upon the distance to which the electricity needs to be transmitted. Higher the distance, higher will be the voltage level. For example, if the distance is let's say more than 200 kilometers, then transmitting the voltage uh, maybe at 800 kV or 420 kV makes more sense than transmitting it at 145 kV level. And this transmission level is called primary transmission. So voltage levels from 145 to 800 kV comes under the primary transmission. Once the power is reached to the receiving substation, the power is then stepped down to the lower voltages. So here the power will be stepped down to maybe let's say 72.5 kV. And this is the receiving station where the power is stepped down. Now here from here, the power can also be given to some of the HT consumer who needs to have let's say directly 145 kV in their factory or 72.5 kV in their factory. So from there, they will build a step down substation and then they will take the power from there. So this phase is what we call as secondary transmission. Now moving on, once after the secondary transmission, the power is again then stepped down to 36 kV or 11 kV. Now after the transmission, we are entering into the distribution zone. So 36 kV or 11 kV is what we call as primary distribution. From here also, the power can be given to the some of the consumers who needs to have 36 kV or 11 kV directly in their plant. So this is the primary distribution. Now after the primary distribution, then there will be uh, further step down and then we will, uh, you know, step down the power to 440 volts. And this is nothing but the distribution poles that we have uh, in the streets on the streets that you can see. 
and this phase of uh, power system is what we call as secondary distribution and from here the power will be given to the di uh, different consumers like us like households residential buildings uh, colleges and uh, other buildings that needs uh, the power so this a uh, complete diagram is what we call as single line diagram of a power system now this is not meant to give you detailed information about power system but this is good enough to give you a you know crisp and a basic arrangement of the power system so i hope you have understood the single line diagram of a power system if you found the video helpful then do subscribe my channel so that uh, you will also you know learn many more interesting things like this do like the video and do share it with the people you think might be interested in knowing about this so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning